In today's class, we will discuss some problems in digital electronics. Where the problems are asked in the gate examination. So the topic is asynchronous and synchronous counter. So in the first problem, the figure shows a modulus k counter. Here k is equal to. So here we have to find what is the modulus k. K the value of k. K. So if you see in this diagram, uh, here initially both the flip flops are at reset condition. Okay. Uh, so it is an synchronous counter. Yes. So now we will put the two segments. So first we start with the second stage. Flip flop inputs. Okay. Next. Okay. So here you can see the clock is connected to both the flip flops. Hmm. At the same time, so it is an synchronous counter. Okay, and here two flip flops, so we have two outputs. So we'll take this flip flop as A and this as B. So now this is A, A, K, A, Q, A, and the Q, A dash, and this is J, B, K, B, Q, B. And Q B dash. Okay. So now we'll take the present state as. Okay. Present state has Q A and Q B. Q A and Q B. And the flip flop inputs as J A K A. Yeah. J A K A K B and KB and the next state as QA plus and the QB plus. Okay. So we'll see, we'll put the initial condition as zero zero. Zero, zero. So now you'll see what are the what are the status of the J A K A that is the inputs of J the inputs of the flip flops. Okay. So here what is J A? J A is equal to J A is equal to Q B dash. Okay. J A is equal to two Q B dash. And K A is equal to one JB is equal to Q and KB is equal to one. So based on the logic diagram. So here so J A is equal to Q B dash. Q B dash is zero, so it is changed to one. So J A is equal to uh, equal to one. K A is equal to this one. Okay, K A is equal to minus one. J B is equal to Q A. Q A here is zero, and K B here it is mentioned as one. Okay. So now what is Q A plus? So here we should know the characteristic table of the J K flip. So for JK flip flop, the characteristic table is or the function table is okay. for JK flip flop, the characteristic or function table is okay. JK zero zero 
zero one one zero one one. So zero zero no change. Zero one reset to zero. One zero set to one. One one toggle. One one toggle. Okay. So now what happens? So here. For QA. So what is this? So see the status of A. And this is one one. So one one is toggled. So what happens? QA has to be toggled to QA plus. That is QA here is zero. So it has to be toggled to one. So now next QB. Next it. Here it is zero one. So zero one means it has to be reset to zero. Just so next. So this is the next state. So this one zero, I am putting it here. Now fill in the remaining value. So J A equal to Q B dash. Q B dash is there is zero. So because one K A is equal to one. J B equal to Q A is one. And the K B is also equal to one. So here, so J A K A here is one 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 is toggle. Toggle means so J A here this one put it as zero. Here it is zero to that one. Got it? So one one toggle, one is toggle to zero. Here this one one toggle, zero is toggle to one. Okay. Now this is the next state zero one. Next, now uh, J is equal to Q B dash. One is put as zero. K A is equal to one. J B is equal to Q A, which is zero. J B is equal to one. So zero one is reset to zero. What are my B D? That is set. That is zero. So now this zero zero is here. That is set. This is nothing but coming back to the initial condition. So now if you see, it has gone to initially it was zero zero. It has gone to one zero. After one zero, it has gone to zero one. After zero one, it is coming to zero zero. It is nothing but coming back to initial state. So, how many uh, states are there? How many states? State one, state two, and state three. So, totally three states. That means is modulus three. Three states. So, your answer is three. Okay. Now. Moving to the next question. Okay, so the ripple counter shown in the given figure works as a. So now you have to know what is the ripple counter function. Okay, so this is also a modulus problem, but here it is an the given circuit is an a ripple or a synchronous counter. Here you can see clock is applied only for the first flip flop. And the second flip flop, the clock is coming from the previous flip flop. Okay, so this is called a ripple counter or an asynchronous counter. Okay, so here one of the input is preset. Okay, it is preset. So preset is an asynchronous input. That means it will affect on the output whenever, whenever it doesn't wait for the clock. Okay, so it will be at the high. That means Uh, a counter starts when the preset is given. A counter starts with one one. Okay, so when the clear is given, so this is what we say. When clear is given, the counter resets to zero zero zero. When preset is given, your counter sets to one one one. So what happens is when the preset so when the counter is having a preset in What happens is a count starts from starts decrementing from one 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 to zero zero zero. So it will be an down counter. Okay, and if it is a clear input is given, your counter will be decrementing from zero 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 to one one one. That means it is an up counter. Okay, the case where it is given it is a down counter. So now you have only two options. So It will be either mod three or mod five because one of the input here is preset. Okay, 
so on preset operation ab is set to abc k okay, on preset operation where inputs a b c is set to 1 1 and 1 so which will be your initial state will be your initial state so it starts or get decremented like this so you have to see what is the count or till which count it is decremented okay so so when the preset is becoming one okay uh, okay when the preset is becoming one at the and gate the and gate is connected with the inputs of the flip flops we we'll check what are the inputs of the and gate okay so here you see this is your and gate so this is connected to lc dash Okay, so I'll do C. This is complement C. So C dash. And this is connected to B, and this is connected to A dash. This is connected to B A dash. So your and gate is connected with the inputs of A dash, B, and C dash. So when the preset is given, this becomes equal to One. So when it becomes one, whenever your a equal to zero, b equal to one, and c equal to zero, whenever it becomes okay. So when it becomes when the preset becomes activated, whenever a is equal to zero, b is equal to one, and c is equal to zero, preset activates or preset. We said happy. You can say, or we set to one. Okay, fine. So now, let's see. So now, initially, the condition is one, one, one. So next count, it will be. So this is your A B. Okay, one, 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 zero. Okay. One zero one, one zero zero, next zero one one, and next zero one zero. So when it becomes zero one zero, what happens? It gets it gets set to one. That means this particular uh, count is nothing but undesired. Okay, you not be getting this. This is undesired state. So these are the desired state. These are the desired. State. Okay. So you will be getting this one 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 zero one zero one one zero 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 one one. And when the input of this and gate receives, okay, as A equal to zero, B equal to one, and C equal to zero. What happens? This gets set to one. Okay, that means this gets activated. So also this becomes resetted to. Okay, this gets resetted to one one one. Okay, now this is set to one one one. Okay, so how many counts? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So that means your correct answer is modulus five and down counter. Modulus five, down counter. Okay. Will to be next problem. Okay. So in the modulus six, a ripple counter shown in this. Here, the output of the two input gate is used to clear the JK flip flops. Okay, and the two input gate given in the options are NAND gate, NOR gate, OR gate, and AND gate. So here, this is also an asynchronous or ripple counter. You can see the clock is connected to the next flip flop. 
okay this is only the first shape lock this is the clock okay so the output from this is going to the clock output from this is going to the next shape okay so now in the modulus 6 so this is an modulus is mod 6 actually counter the output of the two input so in order to achieve a mod 6 counter what should be these two input and the gate that is your question okay and then it should be an NAND gate or NOR gate and OR gate or an AND gate okay now since clear input is active low okay so here clear input is so it is because it is a bubble is present it is an clear okay since bubble is present this pin is clear since clear input is active low it requires logic zero to activate the function therefore output of two input gate okay output of the two input gate should be equal to zero to clear the flip flops So this should be output of the two input logic gate should be equal to zero. So that what happens? This goes as okay. So this output goes to the clear so that it resets the loop up to zero. So therefore the output of the two input and gate should be equal to zero. Okay. So mod six implies that it has six unique states starting from zero zero zero. So since already it's given as it is an modulus six. Okay. So it has six in it. Zero, 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 one. As I already told you, the clear option is clear input is present, it is an up counter. Okay. So and then since mod six is mentioned, we are having six states. Zero 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 one zero one zero zero one one. One zero zero one zero one. Okay, so these are the desired shapes. These are the desired shapes. Next, term, when it goes one one zero, what happens? It should be getting. Okay, so this is undesired state. Okay, after one zero one, it should go. It should go to zero zero zero. So now we will see this is A C is in order C B and A. Okay, so where C is one, B is one, and A is equal to zero. Okay, so whenever both inputs are zero, the output is zero. Okay, so see. Okay, whenever both inputs are equal to zero so where is the input coming from one is coming from b dash and c dash one is coming from b dash and c dash so if it is one so you put here one 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 and zero okay so this is the state when when the counter comes to this state so what happens c dash so this is going to be zero and b dash this is going to be zero so the output delivers is zero so this functionality happens only in the r gate okay only in the r gate we have so what happens is so zero 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 goes and clears all your Therefore, a correct option is P or B. Understood? Okay, we'll move to the next problem.
Okay, so the given figure shows a ripple counter using positive edge trigger flip flops. If the present state of the counter is Q2, Q1, and Q0 is equal to 0, 1, 1, then it makes okay. So in the given figure, it is then a ripple counter because you see, clock is only applied to the first flip flop, and for the next flip flop, it is coming from the previous flip flops. And since you don't have a bubble here, okay, it is then first. It. Okay, so if the percent state of the counter is Q2, Q1, Q0 is 0, 1, 1, what is the next state of it? Okay, so now we we'll put the table here. Instead, the order given is Q2, Q1, and Q0. So we we'll maintain the same order Q2, Q1, and Q0. Okay, and then next is Q plot in. Flip flop inputs are T2, T1, and T0. And the next state Q2 plus Q1 plus T2. Okay, so the present state initially it is given is 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1. And what is the status of the inputs here? 1, 1, and 1. And as we know the characteristic table of the T flip flop, so what is the characteristic table of the flip flop? Okay. So when it is 0, no change. Okay, no change. When it is 1, Okay, so this is the characteristic. Okay, when in, in the t equal to zero, it is no change. No change in sense, it is QM itself. Okay. QM itself. When it is t equal to one, it is double. So it is QM. So now, what happens? So now here all the T inputs are 1, so all should toggle. So what is Q2? 0, which toggle to 1. And for T1, the 1 toggle to 0. And here Q0, 1 toggle to 0. So your final answer is 1, 0, 0. So this is your next state. Okay, so the question is asked, then it is state EB. So this is your next state, 1, 0, 0. We move to the next question. Okay, so now the two D flip flops, okay, the two D flip flops are to be connected as an synchronous counter as given below. Then uh, that goes through the following sequence zero zero. 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and 0, 0. Okay. We have two D flip flops, which is connected in, in kernel. That goes to the following sequence. You can see here 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, and back to 0, 0. The inputs of D0 and D1 should be connected as what? This is connected as what? Okay. So now we will take the, now we will see the, the first we start with the second state. So present state here is uh, and the order given is Q1 and Q0. So I'll be taking in that order. Okay, and next is present state.
and finally this one. So here, uh, in, here in this problem, we have put present state next state because so the, here we know the what is the present state as well as the next state. So this is an counter problem. Which that means you know the present state and next state. So you should know what is the input. So for that purpose, the table will be of this order. Okay. So what is the flip flop inputs? T1 and the So now, uh, initially, this is given as 0, 0. Okay, so first I'll put the, what are the possible combinations for a two inputs, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. So these are the possible combinations. So these are the possible combination of inputs. So now from the uh, given sequence, given in the question, we'll fill the next state. You see the next state. So after zero zero, what is the sequence? After zero zero, it is zero one. After zero one, it is one one. After one zero, it is zero zero. After one one, it is one zero. So from the given sequence, we have to this. So now, in order to write the flip flop input. So for the deep flip flop, we know that. D equal to QN plus 1. This is the characteristic equation. D equal to QN plus 1. This is the characteristic equation at which we pop input is equal to the next step. So we can just copy the same values to this you pop. So 0, 1, 1, 1. So now we'll draw the K map and plot these values in the K-map to get your inputs, your top inputs. Okay, so now K-map will plot for the D1 and D0. Since we have only two inputs, we are, we are going to use them two variable K-map. Okay, we say Q1 and the Q0. 0, 1, and 0. Okay. So, plot the values. 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1. Next. For the D mode. Zero, one, zero. Plot the values of D naught. D naught is one, one, zero, zero. One, one, zero, one. So now we are going to group. Where the expression for D one is equal to. Do not and for D not it is equal to Q one. Okay, so this is your input value. So therefore, so therefore the inputs okay D one and D not. Okay, the inputs D one and D not are D naught and D one naught. Okay, the question is going like this. Inputs D naught and D one naught. First D naught. First and Q one dash and the Q naught. Q one dash and Q naught. Which is option A. This option. Next question. Okay. 
<coughs> uh, the circuit shown in the figure, the counter state Q1, Q0 follows this sequence. Q1 and Q0 follows this sequence. So I have to find what is the sequence of the counter diagram. So here we will put the I will draw the table at this state. Okay, flip flop input. So, what is your uh, present state here? Present state given is Q1 and Q0. Take this sequence. Q1, Q0, inputs are D1 and D0. Next state is Q1 plus. Here, here the initial condition is not mentioned, even though the initial condition is not mentioned in the question. So from the given options, you can see all the options, you can see the initial condition is zero. So I'm going to take this as the initial condition here, zero, zero, and next. Uh, D1. Okay, so D1. What is the condition of D1 and D1 here? From the given diagram, D1 is equal to okay. D1 is equal to Q0. D0 is equal to D not is equal to this Q not so Q not plus Q one okay so not okay so now so D one is equal to Q not Q not here is you can just put that zero and so for uh, not the two table is zero 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 one one zero okay so for not the two table can be given as Perhaps I'll put for the R for a C understanding. Okay, so for R get what do you put? So zero, one, one, one. And for now it is one, zero, zero, and zero. Okay. Okay, so now. So Q naught plus that is Q naught and Q one not Q naught so one zero zero it is one okay and next state as we already know for D flip flop Q is equal to that is D is equal to Q n plus one D is equal to Q n plus one so I'll put this here. so this next state will be here. So, for this area, 1, okay, 0, 1, 0, 1 is 0, 1, 0, and next state will be a percent state, 1, 0, and D1 is equal to Q0, becomes 0, 1, 0 is 0 here, okay, 
so this will be from zero. And I would ask for k equal to given plus one. And now, so this will be coming as so again coming back to zero zero. So what is your consequence? Zero zero. Afterwards it is zero one. Afterwards it is one zero. After it is zero zero. So check whether which option you are getting. Zero 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 one one zero again back to zero. So that is option B. Option B is the correct. We move to the next question. Okay. So assuming that all flip flop inputs are in reset condition initially. So reset condition initially all are in zero zero zero. Okay. Reset condition all of the will be inserted. So the sequence given is. It is not mentioned, so we'll take QA, QB, and Q. QA, QB, Q. Okay. So initially, all are zero, zero, and zero. Okay. Assuming that all flip-flop inputs are in reset condition initially, the sum cone sequence observed at the QA. So you are required to find what is the sum sequence at the QA. The following circuit diagram. So here we see what is the status of the inputs of each flip flop here. Flip flop inputs. So DA is equal to DA is equal to the QB and QC. QB X not QC. DA DB is equal to DB is equal to QA. And BC is equal to BC is equal to QB. Okay, so these are the input condition. Okay, so this is, is your next step. Two A plus two B plus two C plus. This is also same as that of the D A, D B, and the D. Okay. So since D is the input set, we are going to call that D is equal to two N. Plus one, which is your characteristic equation. Okay. So now it is in starting with zero zero zero, and you can see here Q B and the D B and D C is nothing but Q A and Q B. Okay. So that means what is this D B? That means the two terms should be next. Okay, D B and D C again and third. Okay, so that means this is zero zero comes here. Okay, and then Q B and Q C. Q B and Q C. These two will be X naught. Okay, so X naught. So two table for X naught. Zero 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 one one zero one 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 zero zero one. So this is the truth table for the next analogy. Okay, this is the truth table for the next analogy. So now what happens is this two almost this is acting as a shift register. These two get shifted here, and then for like. D A is nothing but Q B X R Q C. These two get because okay, these two has to be X naught. Zero zero is one. Okay. Next. Similarly, these two get shifted. Okay. Shifted to 
1 0 okay and this 2 will be x not 0 0 is 1 again this 2 will be shifted 1 1 and this 2 will be x not 1 0 is 0 and then this 2 will be shifted 0 1 and this 2 will be x not okay 1 1 is 1 okay and this 2 will be shifted 1 0 this 2 will be x not 0 1 is 0 and then this 2 will be shifted that is 0 1 okay and this 2 will be x not 1 0 is 0 okay so likewise likewise we can do this and next it will be this 2 okay let's turn this This two will be shifted. Zero, zero, and the zero one x naught is zero. So coming back to the initial condition, zero, zero, zero. So this is your uh, sequence. Okay. So now we are concentrating only on the QA. So now we will take only the pairs of the QA alone. So which reads? 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, and so on. Okay. So now, which matches with the option 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. Option D, which matches with the option D. Okay. Let's move to the next question. So we have two D flip flops, it's a connected as an synchronous counter that goes through the following states, following uh, sequence Q, B, and Q, A. It is zero zero one one zero one one zero and zero two. Okay, zero zero one one zero one one zero and zero zero. The connections of the inputs D A and D B R. Okay. So we have two flip flops. The two flip flops here. This of one, and this is of two. Okay, and both are uh, two clubs are connected as synchronous counter. So we have a clock. Okay, next slide, like this. Okay, uh, that goes the following sequence again. So now the connections of D A. And DBR. So you are supposed to find what is your DA and the DB. Okay. What's the answer for DA and DB? So now it's all that's like the previous problem, but of mistakes. This is of A and this is of B. So now, and the sequence given here is Q B Q A. So we will be following that sequence here. Q B and Q A. Okay, and the sequence given here. So sequence is already given. So this is a normal counter problem. So 
thousand says and next day we will take it. Thousand says and next day we will take it. So Q B plus and Q A will be input. A B and B. So now, so the possible combinations are zero zero, zero one, one zero, and one one. Okay, the possible combinations are zero zero, zero one, one zero, and one one. Okay. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, now, now. The present state and the, so we will be finding the next state here. So now zero zero the present state is zero 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 one one zero and one one. Okay. So now from the given sequence we are going to fill up the next state. Okay. So next state is uh, so from the given sequence zero zero. Next state is one one. So after zero one it is one zero. And after one zero, it is zero zero. After one one, it is zero one. Okay. So now, as we know, d is equal to q n plus one. Okay. So we'll be writing the values as it is one one, one zero, zero zero, and zero one. Okay. Okay, so now we have to fill in the, we have to fill the, came out. So since you have only two variables, we have to, we have to use and two variables came out. So, this is for db, this is da. So now, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, with respect to qb and qa, okay, still the value. So one one zero zero. One one zero zero. I'm similarly for D A. So this is D A. Okay. And for D A. So the three to Q B and Q A. Okay, fill the value. One zero zero one. One zero zero one. Okay, one zero zero one. So now we are going to plot the plot of the KMAP is over. 
now you have to group it okay and these two so therefore db is equal to qb bar and the da is equal to qb bar into qa bar plus QB QA, which is equal to, which is equal to uh, QB XA QA holders. So we check for the option DB is equal to QB bar. And D A is equal to Q B bar Q A bar plus Q B Q A. So it matches with option D. It matches with the option D. And we solve one more problem. Okay. So the outputs of the two flip flop inputs, sorry, the outputs of the two flip flops Q1 and Q2 shown in the figure are initialized to 0, 0. The sequence generated at Q1 upon the application of the clock signal is. Okay, from the application of the clock signal is, the sequence is given here. Okay, so now we have to will be truth table here. Open state. Q1 and Q0. Okay. Because 1 and 2. So Q1 and Q2. Sorry. The sequence is Q1 and Q2. So we will be using the same sequence here. Okay, input set, flip flop inputs. So J1, K1, J2, and K2. And next state, Q1 bar, uh, sorry, Q1 plus, and the Q2 plus. Okay, so initially, even though initially it is given as 0, 0. So we have to put 0, 0 here. Okay, so now we'll check what are the inputs for J1. So J1 is equal to Q2 bar, K1 is equal to Q2. J2 is equal to Q1 and K2 is equal to Q1 bar. Okay, so these are the status of the inputs. So now J1 is equal to Q2 bar. So Q2 bar is 1, 0, we have to put as 1. K1 is Q2, put as 0 here. Okay, J2 is equal to Q1, which is as 0. K2 is Q1 bar, Q1 bar 0 as to be changed to 1. Okay. So now, so we have to know the characteristic table of the JK flip flop. So 0, 0, no change. 0, 1, reset to 0. 1 0 set to 1 and 1 1 toggle 1 1 toggle so now 1 0 so 1 0 is nothing but you have to set to 1 0 1 you have to reset to 0 so this will be a present state 1 0 so now again change it. Could apply the inputs. J1 is equal to Q2 dash. 
zero which is to one k one is q two which is zero and the j two is q one which is one here k two is q one bar one is tends to zero so one zero is well drawn a characteristic table one zero is with respect to one again one zero is with respect to one so now one one is here present in statement. So now again apply the inputs. Okay, so J one is equal to Q two bar. Q two bar one is changed to zero. K one is equal to Q two, which is one. J two is equal to Q one, which is one, and the K two is equal to Q one bar, which is zero. Okay, so then apply the characteristic table. Zero one is zero. One zero is one. Now. This will be acting as present state. Okay. So now J one is equal to Q two bar. Q two bar is which is zero here, and uh, K one is equal to Q two, is one here. J two is equal to Q one, which is zero, and K two is equal to Q one bar, it is one. Okay. So which is applied as zero one is reset to zero. Again zero one is reset to zero. Again, this is to zero. That means again going back to zero. So, what is the uh, status at the Q1? So Q1 here it is. This. Okay. So the sequence will be zero, one, one. Zero, zero, and so on. So zero, one, one, zero, 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 one, one, zero, zero is option D. Option D is the correct. So we will complete our class with this. We will see some more problems in our next class. Thank you.